Uh, my project is about human zoos and memory of human zoos in Berlin. I felt watched when I came to Berlin. I wanted to know what the history of people in Berlin or black people in Berlin had been like and how this identity was constructed. Um, and so I was asking a lot of questions about black people's experience in Berlin and yeah, I think the history of human zoos surprised me a lot because at the time I'd never even visited a zoo in my life and it was just incredible to think that there would be a zoo that existed where human beings were um, exhibited and why people never talked about it. Human zoos were a place where black identity was not only extracted and exploited but also where it was contested and, and, and built. During my research initially I thought I would find victims that I would find black people as victims in, in the zoos, but I think the, the history is much more complicated and nuanced than that. There was a lot of resistance. Well, usually sometimes I think of blackness as resistance to, to white supremacy, as resistance to whiteness. I think I really had to make a conscious choice um, not to tell a single story, not to tell one person's story uh, and use it as a, as, as a representation of human zoos. I really want to bring that nuance in human zoos because Yes, there were people that came to human zoos as indentured workers, there were people that came to human zoos as slaves uh, or enslaved people. There were people that came to human zoos uh, on their own accord that paid their transportation and came because they had other political agenda. And I think the way we have learned to tell history or the how we tell history uh, has always focused on like people with exceptional special stories. And what I also wanted to do in this project was to challenge that way of seeing history because for me it's very sensational and it usually takes things out of context or at least makes the context look like it was one person's experience. Also with this way of telling history then you, you sort of make heroes outside of people that are just basically trying to get by all the time. The way I execute the project is going to make a lot of people uncomfortable. And I also try as much as possible not to tell a linear uh, story, but take the discomfort as an invitation to growth. You know, how the lobsters grow. Lobsters don't grow necessarily because time is passing. They grow because they feel uncomfortable in their shells and then they have to shed the shells and kind of go into uh, this discomfort, into, into, into hiding so they can grow a new shell. If you feel uncomfortable, it means the shell you're in is uh, too small. So. I hope I make people feel uncomfortable with the story. There's so many, so many stories to be told, there's so many things to be learned. If not necessarily to um, publish and tell other people, I think for my, personal, uh, for my personal development and just my understanding of history and memory, I think I would still continue working on, working on this field and these topics. I also think I, I cannot do otherwise. It's like, there's no way. I cannot not be black, you know, so, yeah.